What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Now one of the biggest points of contention in the Marvel community ever since the initial delay and in movement of the Marvel Phase 4 slate is would Black Widow actually be released in theaters as Marvel said it would in November or of course placed on Disney Plus and then came this new premiere access service where they could roll out movies like Mulan onto their video on demand service and said it would be a testing ground well those tests have begun along with some other factors in the film industry that mark a definitive turning in the tide for our forecast as to where Black Widow is going to show up and when and if this video on demand service is even going to work for Disney the way that they thought that it might and of course what this means for Black Widow's theatrical release we're going to break it all down but first if you could grab the subscribe button we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff including this insane one fourth scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill and our third and final Infinity Saga box set if you want to be entered to win all you have to do hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there so in case you weren't up to speed this past weekend Mulan went straight to video on demand on a brand new service called Premiere Access it requires you to also have a Disney Plus subscription of course it does. This was something that they announced at their previous Q3 earnings call and said that they would use it as a litmus test going forward to see what other movies they may release on this service. However, this was not earmarking a huge change in their release strategy, meaning films would still go to theaters much in the way that they had planned for Black Widow and their biggest blockbusters. Now, we've all speculated at length over the last month or two as to what this would mean for Black Widow, and of course, everyone agreed that Mulan would basically be the testing ground. They even admitted later, this is Disney, that they'd be putting other movies out on video on demand, and we argued here at the channel, no matter what the box office take would be for Black Widow now, it's going to be far less than this movie would have done if nothing had happened this year the way that it did with the delays, meaning for a movie that was set to bring in a billion dollars, they're going to have to make up as much of it as possible, especially going into the holiday season. Up until now, we've said it'll come out in theaters for a couple of weeks and then watch. All of a sudden, it'll be video on demand at the same time as well. Well, this past weekend, things definitely changed. Mulan went to Disney On Demand and summed up perfectly in a tweet from Scott Mendelson, who is a film critic and box office pundit over at Forbes magazine, tweeting this interesting factoid. Hashtag Mulan is currently third over at Disney Plus behind The Simpsons, per usual, and the Kenneth Branagh directed Cinderella, which, offhand, I've never seen anywhere near so high before. He goes on to tweet, quote, I'm hearing that rentals weren't huge this weekend, which Disney arguably predicted, hence the quote, coming to Disney Plus for free on December 4th announcement, meaning that if you don't want to rent Mulan between now and December, over the next three months, 90 days, then you can just watch it for free on December 4th. Now, some people are stepping up to say that that quote unquote dissuaded early rentals. People know they can see it for free in three months, but not so fast. We're in the middle of a quarantine. What this tells me is that it did not do as well as they thought that they're going to float it out during the holiday season just to make Disney Plus relevant. They'll take a pass on the $29.99 that they're not getting from people in lieu of getting subscriptions. The $4.99 a month is worth it to them if they can drive subscriptions with Mulan, but man, if it didn't bring in the kind of numbers that they hoped for, there is no way they are going to put Black Widow on video on demand on Premiere Access. This was our original stance here at the channel, and then I came around real recently and said no, box office numbers matter, and Disney has been taking an absolute beating, not just with film and media, but their theme parks haven't been open either for months. They are absolutely hemorrhaging money. I said they'll put it out in theaters, not to make Regal Cinemas and AMC mad, leave it there for three weeks, and then put it out on video on demand during December when everybody's home for the holiday season. Well, everybody's pretty much home already, and if Mulan couldn't make back the kind of money they thought it would, they are never, ever, floating Black Widow out for free, and you have to imagine that if they do put it on video on demand, that it's sort of going to eat off the bone for the box office numbers, and if that's something that they're pushing, well then that's what they're going to go all in on. Something else happened this weekend outside of Disney and Marvel Studios, though, that makes that an even more likely case scenario, and that's how well Tenant did at the box office. It crushed $120 million, which is 
quite a lot considering people aren't really going back to theaters in full yet and there are several theaters and screens that aren't even open not to mention that they are selling in between seats so you've basically got half packed rooms the fact that it could bring in that much money again with half houses theaters closed and people really not going back to theaters as much as they may 60 days from now and guys we're still two months from the release of black widow disney may take a step back here and say hey Video on demand, not so much. We're leaving this in theaters, and if that's not going to happen in November, then they would move it again and again, just keep it in theaters. The huge argument against this was, if you keep pushing back the films that are ready, and you keep pushing this slate back, and then keep producing films, you're just gonna have a mountain of films with no way to release them, the whole slate will get backed up. They have to start putting them out one way or another. Yeah, but this is still a business, and they are reeling right now, pun totally intended, any amount of money they can make back that goes towards the kind of bottom lines they were looking at before this delay is what they will be all in on with Mulan not doing well at the Premier Access Disney Plus and I understand that $30 is a lot of money especially when the $5.99 that you're paying per month gets you everything it already does if they're not going to do well there and they're seeing Tenant do well in theaters Black Widow is going to be all on theaters and all the way, probably the way that it was going to be originally, and we won't see it added to Disney Plus until they absolutely have to, especially considering if things get back up and running the way that they look like they might, they're going to start putting out Disney Plus TV shows. Those in and of themselves will drive the subscriptions. Adding Black Widow to Disney Plus won't be the huge uptick that they're hoping Mulan will serve for in the beginning of December. Guys, let me know all your thoughts about this. How does this make you feel? Were you one of the ones that was hoping it would make it to Disney Plus? Some of my friends were. They don't want to risk going to the theaters yet, which I totally understand. Or are you excited to get out to the theaters to see it? It's been so long since we've gotten to watch a Marvel movie as a community. I'm definitely missing that. And as long as I can do so safely, I'll definitely be going to see it. Let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. Of course, we will switch over to the PlayStation 5 once they come out, but with the delays to technology this year, we're not going to actually give them away till we have them in hand, and it may be a while. So in the meantime, the PlayStation 4 Pros will continue to go out, the next of which 700,000 subscribers. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel, like this insane one fourth scale xm studios beta ray bill this is in no way an action figure at almost a full three feet tall 30 inches this is an immaculately sculpted museum quality piece again from xm studios which is the international license holder for marvel characters as well as our third and final limited edition infinity saga box set we gave away two earlier this year this will be the final one we give away at the channel we'll be doing that in december during the holiday season again if you want to be entered to win either of the playstations the beta ray bill the limited edition infinity saga box set or any of the future prizes we give away here at the channel all the same rules will always apply hit the subscribe button to make sure you're a subscriber here at the channel then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on to keep up with the videos leave a like and a comment on this video and because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners will be chosen again at random and announced at the end of videos and if you've missed any of the previous winner announcements this year no worries all you have to do is go back to the channel look for the winner announcement and the sub count in the title click on that video and scroll to the end. My name is Michael Roman. This is everything always. Guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.